Hey there friend, Kyle Universe here, and the Five Nights at Freddy's action figures are now here for you to purchase. So join me in taking a closer look at these. Okay, so let's start with Freddy. So you'll notice that these figures are modeled after how the characters look in the first game. Now, I only have one problem with them. He comes with a microphone, and it is so hard to get into his hand. Another thing is, all the figures fall apart at the joints way too easily. See here, I was trying to get him to hold his microphone when his arm came off and he fell to the floor, and his other limbs just came off. And this was a soft carpet he fell on. But other than that, it's still a cool figure. Out of all of them, I think Bonnie probably has the best texture. It looks like it's both plastic and aged fabric, which in the game is what he would have been made out of. And it does a great job of looking like he's been decaying for a while. They also decided to include a bunny tail on him, to which there would be no place in the game where you'd be able to see that, so that's a pretty cool addition. However, just like Freddy, he has a problem with holding his guitar. Oftentimes, when I was trying to get him to hold it, his arm would break off. But, if you're only going to display them, it's fine. I like how Chica's texture pattern kind of looks like a potato chip, and it looks incredibly aged and water damaged. And after all, that's how she should look, given the pizzeria's condition in the first game. Once again, the only problem I have is that she can't grip the cupcake plate. If you want her to hold on to it, you have to keep her insanely still. But it was nice of them to include it. Foxy is the oddball character in this set in which he has a much smaller frame, and rightfully so, that's how he appears in the video games, and they made sure to include how beat up he is with some of his fabric missing, and his legs are only an endoskeleton. He's also the only figure who doesn't come with a prop, but it makes sense because he didn't have one. One thing I wish they would have done was make his mouth poseable. Inside you can see that it's just a piece of plastic painted black. It would have been cool if you could open his mouth all the way and set him in a terrorizing pose. The Golden Freddy figure is basically identical to the Freddy figure, except for the eyes. Which is not a bad thing, but unfortunately he has the same problem with his hand in which it's hard for him to hold on to his microphone. But at least the golden color makes the detail of his body stand out, and he looks pretty good and terrifying. So like other figure sets have done in the past, each figure comes with a piece of spring trap. Kind of an ingenious way to make you purchase all of them. Spring trap has the most detail. He has a withered appearance of being left to rot for years, and as always, it's hard to tell if you're looking at actual wires or if it's the remains of the purple guy's muscle structure. Either way, I applaud his look and design, and that psychotic stare. So there you have all six Five Nights at Freddy's figures. They're awesome, and I know they're kind of hard to find, but if you can get your hands on them, you definitely will enjoy them. Maybe they'll make more down the road, like the toy characters, and each one will have a piece of mangle or something. But, I'm Kyle Universe, see you out there.